I'm alive! <laughs> oh no, I forgot the party rocker. It's okay, we're gonna live. Okay, what's up everybody? It's me, Donna V, live from Kung Pao Kitchen. Oh, you are bad, Mr. Handsome Hands. Mm -hmm. Courtesy of him though, he did bring me some Jets coffee. Love the taste of the Jets coffee. I hope you're enjoying your Jets coffee. Mmm, tastes so good. All right, everybody, as you know, I have to definitely sing a song for you guys, even though, as you can tell, where is my counterpart? Okay, you ready? I have some news, ladies and gentlemen. My counterpart is already getting her tailgating spot. I'm not even kidding. My friend Tracy, I love her to death. And as a matter of fact, she, I, I put more jet stuff out today because she's not here. But I know she would, she wouldn't do the same thing to me. Yes, she would. So I'm gonna, I'll put this here for her because you know the Eagles are playing the Cowboys this weekend. I don't know if you saw, but we posted a video. You guys should be watching that and sharing that and liking that, especially now that I've posted a clearer video of it because you know that's what I do. I'm the techie here. Tonight is all about facts. The fact is, is I really am not the singer of the duo. But I'll try. Girls gone green. You gotta have guts to sing alone. Girls gone green. I got these nodules. Oh. Hey, they're laughing at me. Girls gone green. She's Tracy. I'm Donna. And she's somewhere meditating in a parking lot right now. That's right. Meditating in a parking lot. But I love her. So uh, I'm going to take some questions tonight. I'm going to figure out how to do this by myself. All by myself. Not as much fun. All by myself. But the show must go on anymore. You know, it's funny. Because when we, um, when we do our show live together, Tracy has this really amazing Apple computer. My computer? Mmm. It's more like the result of Adam eating the apple. It's an abomination. It's this old computer that I really, I'm not even touching anything and stuff is happening. And the problem with that is, is I can't see the questions cause they're way over there. Oh, what's up? That's my cousin. Hey, Mary Jean, I might have to move. Chuck Gill, what's going on? It's a good thing you guys are here tonight because I'm here to share a few things with you. I made this amazing leaderboard because our budget is just so large. This is the standings for the Jets and the Eagles. Right here on this recycled cardboard box. Because Girls Gone Green is about the environment too. Right now, this is win, lost, tie. I mean, it can happen. I know. The Jets, as you know, if you watched this past weekend, I actually did because it was my goddaughter's birthday and I was distracted by the amazement of how many little pieces there are in a farm set. So I watched part of it and then I think there was like some kind of a duck show on TV. I think it was Donald Duck. But the Jets lost. So now we are three and six. Guys, three and six. Not so good, right? The Eagles, they're going to be facing the Cowboys, and they're 4-4, four and four, better than the Jets, I'll tell you that much. And next week, wait, let me see what else. Oh, so the Jets are facing the Bills next. The Bills. You know what the good thing is about facing the Bills next? Wait, let me reveal it to you. They're 2-7. They're two and seven. I don't know if you can see it from here, guys. Two and seven. Three and six. Two and seven. We have a better record than the Bills! Sorry, I get a little excited over football. The Eagles are facing the Cowboys. And you know what the Cowboys are right now? Three and four. Guess what? Eagles have a better record than the Cowboys! Can you believe we're going into this coming week with better records than our opponents? 
Did I mention I'm a Jets fan? I still believe. I still believe. What's that? What's that? I think people are writing in. I've got to figure out how to work this computer, if you don't mind. So, but here's the thing, guys. I have no idea. Apparently, I was creating an ad over here. I think it's because I know why I need to be. Wait a minute. I'm canceling the ad. I didn't even know I was making an ad. Did you guys know I was making an ad? Now, I think I know what I need to do. I need to watch live from my own page. Yes, I think that's what I need to do. And if I don't, you'll watch me anyway. That's the best part. Hey, Shari, what's going on? Super fan, Shari. I am in the studio alone tonight because our girl, Tracy, is already at the link trying to get us a spot. Do you know why? Because this Sunday, this coming Sunday, on 11-11, guess what's happening? There are two games being played. One o'clock, Jets versus the Bills. Eight o'clock, Eagles versus the Cowboys. Do you know what that means? Road trip! We're taking a road trip. Yes. Your girl's gone green. Are gone crazy. We're just putting miles on the bug. Because one o'clock, we'll be at Jet Life Stadium. We'll be ha we have giveaways coming. We do. We have giveaways coming. That's going to happen. And then we're going to drive all the way down to the link. And you know what's going to happen there? We're going to tailgate there, too. Our tailgate really involves more of uh, just, like, saying hi to people, interviewing people, giving out, like, free things that say girls gone green on them. With all hope, I paid for rush delivery. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm trying, like heck, right now, to watch this live stream from the laptop. That was around when the Flintstones were around. I think I figured it out. <gasps> oh, I think I figured it out. I can see myself. This is a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a holiday miracle. I mean, it's frozen because it's a 90,000 year old computer. But you know what, guys? Oh, oh shoot. How do I turn the volume down? I'm listening to myself figuring it out. Wait. This is a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a holiday miracle. It is a holiday miracle. Now, what would be even more of a miracle is if I could figure this out. And I got some stuff here. And I just hear myself now. Okay. Can you guys hear me over there? What's up? I really want to be able to talk to everybody. But I only have one iPhone. Because I have two kids in college. And a girl with two kids in college doing comedy, all she could afford, guys, is one iPhone. And I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to come closer. I'm going to try something new. I just closed the laptop, and it's still going. It's still going. I have no idea how to work it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over by you guys. I'm gonna share something with you. Where'd my Brussels sprouts go? Okay. Okay. You're probably wondering why I have Brussels sprouts. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try something a little different. Madeline Mulvaney, what is up? You can hear me? Okay, I want a Girls Gone Green t-shirt. Hopefully if our budget increases, that's next. I'm gonna show you something. So, next thing you know, we'll be playing the Pats. They're number one right now. Gotta tell you, I don't like them. I don't like the Patriots. I will be at that game, though. I go every year to the Jets-Patriots game. I'm a glutton for punishment, but that's okay. Then they're playing the Titans. And then the Bills again. Please let us beat them so that when we see them, we're not embarrassed. It is. It's a football miracle. Okay? That's my cousin saying that. How you doing, Madeline? Then we got the Saints, the Giants, Redskins, Cowboys. That's who the Eagles are playing. But you know what? More importantly, can you guys even see this? <laughs> my cousin says, who cares? Hey, cousin Lauren. Not nice. I think it's backwards for you guys. Is it backwards? 
Because I have a whole other message on the back of this. First of all, I'm going to share with you. Ladies, it's holiday season. I'm feeling a little bit full. I'm feeling a little bit bloated. I'm feeling a little bit like an infomercial. Anybody here? It is backwards. <laughs> Whatever. Should I turn around? This is the most ridiculous live stream ever. Okay. Anyway. So today I went and I decided I'm going to try something. Anybody ever hear cool sculpting out there? Please, by a show of like different little emoji things. Anybody out there heard of cool sculpting? Yeah, I'm seeing some stuff. I love that. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I can't afford cool sculpting. Who are you kidding? All right? You know why I can't afford cool sculpting? Because I got those two kids in college. But you know what I can't afford? Brussels sprouts. So I'm just going to put them right here. For the rest of the I'm going to try my at-home cool sculpting kit. That you, you too can do. Get yourself one of those belly bands from like five below. Or go to the dollar store. And just take whatever frozen vegetables or food you have in the freezer. Shove them right in there. Put on a sweatshirt or like a shirt like this. Put it over it. I think by the end of this podcast, I'm going to lose inches. I'm definitely losing brain cells right now. I'm serious. The reason why I'm concerned about that is because I found the best bagel place yesterday. Are you ready? Check this out. It's going to be backwards. But Java Joe's Bagels in Ledgewood. Best bagels I ever had. No offense to those people over at Hot Bagels Abroad. But Java Joe... I wish I could see it, okay? Thank you, Madeline. It is a great idea. It's cold, it's cooling. I'm at the age where I get the hot flashes. So right now I have like a personal cooling system, right? But don't get nervous if you're just tuning in. I'm not with child. As a matter of fact, I was gonna donate my eggs, you know? Anybody want a, want a blue one? Actually, this is a green one. I gotta keep this egg. Let me put this one over here. Right? You thought so? That is for somebody behind me. That's Justin Bieber. Come on, Justin. You can take the place of Tracy. Don't hit your head. It's a low ceiling. Can you see him? Yeah, that's the Biebs. Yeah, that's who's doing my cool sculpting. And then, look at this one. It's a darker egg. It's speckled. These are the eggs I'm donating. I'm not with child. I'm cool sculpting. On a budget. All right, so anyway. Java Joe's bagels. Backwards, maybe. Delicious. Definitely. They're in Ledgewood. I have no idea where that is. But if you Google it, mmm. Right? Those are some big eggs, Madeline. I know. I'm getting older. They're getting a little weird. Today, though, I found an amazing find. Actually, I didn't find it. Mr. Handsome Pants found it. And the name of the place is called Manja Organica in Bloomfield. Organic food. It was amazing. Actually, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm cool sculpting because their food was light and delicious and nutritious. And they had plenty of vegetarian and even some vegan options. I am not vegan. I am vegetarian. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to get into a debate. It's all about facts. The fact is, I'm pescatarian, not vegetarian. Sorry, I lied. Right? Who knew? Right, Chuck Gill? Thank you. So, but Manja Organica. They made regatta cheese out of cashews. Cashews. It was delicious. Over a pesto sauce. And it was farro. You guys know what farro is? It's a grain. It's from Italy. Some people say Italy. I say Italy. Okay? It was, Sherry, delicious. I can't wait until they get on Grubhub because I want to order it for lunch. This is something's happening here. It is really like cold. Like I think I am melting fat cells. Like seriously. Or I am cooking Brussels sprouts. So, so that's kind of what's going on right now. You know, the funny thing without my friend. When are we going? Sherry, say the word. Monta Organica. Let me tell you something. I even brought back a menu. I'm going to get it. This is when I would be like, hey, Trace, can you hand me that menu? But, you know... Tracy's somewhere doing a tree pose right now at the link in the parking lot, getting the best spot for us. Because she also said, and I'm not going to lie, that the mojo from the Jets could maybe just stain the mojo for the Eagles. 
and I love her. When she said it, I knew where it was coming from. It's coming from a place of love. So I hugged her and I said to her in her ear, gently, Locke, don't start with me. My eagles, oh, I just said my eagles, it's happening. She's, it's working on me. My jets and your eagles, it's like the peanut butter and the chocolate. Who got the chocolate and the peanut butter? Oh, and by the way, before I get more distracted, cause like, you know, that's what I do. They gave out, well not gave out, it was part of the thing. Look at this water, alkaline water. Alkaline water, look at this water. Fall in spring water. Can you tell the difference? I cannot tell the difference. I'm not really sure how to tell the difference. This alkaline. Tastes like water. I'm gonna do a taste test right in front of you. This one. Vodka, thank God. Kidding, water. I don't taste any difference. All I know is now I'm cold, I'm drinking water, probably gonna have to pee. I don't know if anybody saw for Halloween, uh, I dressed up three times, thrice. That would be the first time I was, um, oh, the first time I was Dorothy and Mr. Handsome Pants was the Scarecrow. And we carried a baby. In case you missed it, this was our baby. Looks a lot like Mr. Handsome Pants. That's right. Because the Scarecrow looked like Mr. Handsome Pants. And what we did was me and the Scarecrow. We met on a dating app called Yellow Brook Road. That's right, guys. That's even, even in the land of Oz, it re they resort to dating apps. Um, so, anyway, anyway. And then I was Captain Incontinence. I was um, Captain Underpants, much older sister. Yeah. The difference is all the other superheroes that dressed up at the salon, voluntary. Me, involuntary. It's fine. If you don't get it, it's fine. Radio silence, that's what I see. Does anybody have any questions out there? Anybody? Anybody at all? Thank you, Madeline. Oh, Madeline Mulvaney came into the salon, okay? For those of you who don't know that I don't just exist in this New York City basement of Kung Pao Chicken. Kitchen. Sorry. I don't even need chicken. I, I gotta bring my noises over here. It's been very quiet without Tracy Locke. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bring a little general. Tell your partner to call me. I think she could see this on here. You know what it's like getting in touch with her? Okay? This is why I don't get the big bucks. She gets the big bucks. I'm wearing Brussels sprouts around my midriff. Anyhow, Manja Organica, you gotta check it out, okay? What else was I gonna talk about tonight? Comedy shows coming up. I have big news, guys. I'm really excited. So we all know that it's Thanksgiving, almost, correct? Right, don't you big guy? Look at this. This is actually funny. I always wonder what I'd look like if I was taller. Like this, Justin Bieber. This is what I would look like if I had a twin that was tall. Donna the twin, tall. That's what I would look like. That's pretty interesting. We look alike a little bit, I think. Anywho. I gotta sit back down. I'm getting old. This and well, I don't know. This is like really working. I think I'm gonna go back over here. I'm not gonna go see what you're saying, but nobody's saying anything. You guys are uh, pretty quiet, so I'm coming back over. Okay. Oh, that's so much more familiar to me. Look at this. Tracy Locke left her tea here. She left in such a hurry to go to the link. She left her tea. Also, her barked root beer. I think what Tracy Locke does is she thinks that, you know, she just likes to leave a trace so no one knows where she is. It's a mystery. Bet it's cold? Michael, it's cold, but it's benefiting me. I really feel it. You know why? Because did you see that cold, that cool sculpting? This is like, this is like at home cool sculpting right here. This is good stuff. 
If it works here, I'm gonna try it all over. I'm gonna do some arm cool sculpting. Workout, schmirkout, not happening. Who's that? Hey, Nat, what's going on? So, Tracy's not here tonight. Just for those of you that just tuned in, she's over at the link because there's a big game against the Cowboys. I don't know if you guys saw the video, but we did a song about it. Yeah, we did. And um, I hope and I pray. Last year, we sang songs and we made it to the Super Bowl. And by we, I mean we. But here's the thing. 11-11, that's this coming Sunday. We are both gonna be together at both games, MetLife Stadium, and then we'll be at the link. Here's the problem. We better get a signal, okay? Wait, when are you coming? To the Wise Guy Show. Hey, you guys have dates available? I would love to be on a Wise Guy Show. I know we miss each other. We, what day is the Wise Guy Show on of the week? What day of the week? That's what I want to know, Annette. Because we got to get down there. We do. Yes. All right, well, we're going to find out. Oh, it's a Wednesday. All right. Well, the second and the third Wednesday of the month, I have shows consistently. So first or the last Wednesday, and then we'll coordinate it with you and with Tracy. Perfect, if that's good with you. That's the news. I distract myself so much. I don't know if it's like the shiny objects down here. I don't even know what time it is. I'm in a time warp down here, okay? Who is that? Uh, Christopher? I, can't, I gotta get my eyes checked, guys. All right, so by myself, I'm coming back over here because I want to talk to people. What's up, Johnson PA in the house? I know, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. J-E-T-J-E-T-S, S, 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 yes, yes, yes. I'm just saying that because I'm by myself and there's a lot of space, so it's echoing down here. Um, okay, we'll do it, I promise. So there's been a lot of talk about comedy on here. Wednesday, I'm really excited. Uh, the second Wednesday, the 14th, I will be doing a set, actually, not hosting, at New York Comedy Club, at the show I co-produce with Miss Sean Elaine, uh, We Share a Void, and I am so pumped, so pumped to announce that there are, I, I believe there's two headliners, uh, it's going to be Danny Cohen and Yamanika Saunders. Wait, where's my thing? Okay, right here. Danny Cohen, Yamanika Saunders. I mean, that's crazy. You know who else is on that show? Pamela Ray. You know how I know that? Because I just read it. Because I, I, I can retain certain things. I am so excited about that show. And that's a fundraiser. I know that for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, Madeline. Madeline, what time is it? How long have I even been over here? I don't even know by myself. I'm down in this hole. Uh, and then I got some serious news. Brookdale Tavern. Thanksgiving Eve. I just thought I saw a shadow, and I almost thought there was a ghost down here. Brookdale Tavern, Thanksgiving Eve, what a great gig. Get in the private room, 24 minutes, thank you, Shari. Six more minutes of this, Dougie Fresh. I will be headlining. What? Do I have that much material? Well, I could just talk out loud like I'm doing right now to the audience because it's been 26 minutes, 24. That's right. I'll just throw a couple jokes in there. We'll be golden. I'm really excited about that show actually. My family's gonna be there. I host Thanksgiving Eve for my family. It is my tradition. And then when I realized that the third Wednesday of the month fell on Thanksgiving Eve, that is my planned show. I was like, thank you, Shari. I was like, guess what? I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Cause it's gonna be the first time I'll get my entire family to listen to me. Kidding. Uh, but I have an amazing head I have an amazing uh, lineup that night. I have uh, Mr. Natty Bumper Car is hosting. Who doesn't love Natty Bumper Car? I mean, come on. Wait. Wait, this is actually Natty Bumper Car's noise, I think. He's right here. It sounds like he's here. 
This is when his kids are rubbing their butt against the wall. Or no, I think that's Mike Salona. Uh, by the way, speaking of that, I will be performing with Mr. Mike Salona this Friday, actually. I will be at the Shepherd and the Knucklehead. That's going to be at 8 p.m. That's also on DonnaBComedy.com. And it's also on my Facebook page. The Shepherd and the Knucklehead. I cannot wait to see what this place looks like. Like, I'm picturing, like, a shepherd that just keeps losing all of his sheep. I don't know. Maybe it would be more like this. Yeah. I know Monty Mason's on that show. I know Rich McDonald's on that show. I know it's going to be headlined by Mr. Mike Salona. And I know I am hosting, so I should know everybody on that show. But the last name is escaping me. And I apologize to that comic if they are watching. Um, promise by that night I'll know it. I'll even know your credits. Might even know your credit score. By then I'll just research the heck out of you. So Friday night, Shepherd of the Knucklehead at 8 p.m. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Sunday, I will be at two different games. We will be tailgating, handing out give giveaways, taking pictures, signing autographs. I mean, come on. It's Girls Gone Green, people. And then I am looking forward completely to November 14th, New York Comedy Club. I will be there with my friend, Shauna Lane. She will be hosting. It's a fundraiser. I cannot wait for that. And uh, that will be Danny Cohen, Yamanika Saunders. Guess what? I forgot the prop to bring down here. I have it. It's sitting upstairs on my dining room table. I will be bringing it. Heck, I got one minute. Ready? Tiny. Go on. Man, that and the cool sculpt thing. I'm gonna be a jet flight cheerleader by the end of the night. Ready for this one? Okay, little quick story. Last year, I think it was last year, last summer, uh, or maybe it was two years ago. I don't really know. I live down in the basement. I happened to go with the Gone Girls podcast live at Caroline's. I went to go watch it. I went to go record it for them. And uh, Caroline's, very amazing club. I had the honor performing a set there with uh, Divorce Diaries. Thank you very much. And um, love that show. And uh, they block all internet use, which is great because you, you don't want to like record people's sets and like show everybody what's going on. But in that case, they wanted me to. I, I couldn't get a signal. Anyway, stay for the after party. We go out. We're on the rooftop. It's summer. It's hot. Yamanika is hilariously funny. She it was a little bit warm that night. We're dancing. There was live streaming. It was a lot of fun. And I gotta say, she started to get a little sweaty. And what happened next? What happened next? That beautiful woman, she needed assistance. And I, Donna, who is like, I call myself McGrover, decided I had to help her. So what did I do? Did I have a napkin? No. Did I have a tissue? Not at all. But what did I have? I had a maxi pad. I had a maxi pad in a dream. I had a maxi pad and a problem solving noodle right there. So what did I do? I went over to Yamanika Saunders and I said to her, I promise you, Yamanika, it's clean. And I blotted her oh so gently, oh so gently as to not mess up her makeup, right? Cause she had beautiful makeup on. She always looks beautiful. And look at this. Who knew all this time later, I'd be performing on the same stage with her. I was just watching her in awe of her. She just dropped, it. What, I think a Netflix special. Amazing. I'm like, Yamanika, Yamanika. I said to her, you are gonna be famous. You are gonna be famous. Please, could you sign that maxi pad? I am the proud recipient, owner, keeper of it. Yamanika Saunders. She wrote love you. On the inside of this, it's her makeup. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. I'm giving away my eggs and I'm keeping people's maxi pads. And I'm wearing Brussels sprouts on my waist. That's pretty much all I have for you guys tonight. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, a fantastic, fantastic thank you. Sherry Freed, super fan, super fan, Sherry Freed. I'm losing all of my noises. Less than a minute, so that I could say goodnight.
gonna go upstairs, put my feet up, take a little rest. Thank you everybody that watched. Share, like, whatever. We're gonna see what's gonna happen this weekend. It's gonna be crazy. I have a feeling it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be good. I want the Jets to win. I want the Eagles to win. 11-11, make a wish. Right? I don't know. I have to sing. I don't really wanna sing. Girls gone green. Come and do your life from the studio. <laughs> Should I take out my Brussels sprout? Ooh, I feel so thin. I'm gonna I just done this. My live stream's over. I did it. 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 Wow, that feels really good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later.